Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Nasdaq. This is Johnny. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly and easily install a VPN server for yourself and for free. There are many reasons you might want to have your own VPN servers. You can access restricted content in other countries, other regions, and you can bypass in your local restrictions, or you may want to access your data at your home. It might sound very complicated, but with OpenVPN and other technologies, this can be done easily and quickly in 5 minutes. So now, let's start it. There are many ways to install OpenVPN product. You can use OpenVPN's guide on their website to install directly from RPM package. If you need Debian, then you can see OpenVPN wiki for more details to how to install OpenVPN. You can install it on the Windows as well. Also, you can get it from marketplaces on all popular cloud providers like Azure, Oracle, AWS. They all have this product available for you to do one quick installation. For this video, I'm going to show you how to use a project in GitHub doc or VPN to install it with Docker. There are many reasons why I like Docker. I have quite a few videos in my channel to show you how to use Docker to install different products, software. So this is Doc-O VPN. So we are going to use it to deploy it into our Oracle Cloud. You may want to see other method to deploy VPN as well. You can find out from my list blog post, which I summarize a different way to do. So now let's start using Oracle free tier VN to deploy this Docker based OpenVPN. If you already have your Oracle free tier VM ready, so you can skip this part to direct to go to the next section to start the installation for the Docker and for OpenVPN. But if you don't have, check the video here how to get your Oracle VPS for free. It's a very generous plan from Oracle. So now I just quickly go through the process how to create a VM, always free. Change the image to Ubuntu. I like to use 20.04 this image. I use my own public key. All others you can use default settings. Now you can create your VM. You may want to open a couple ports for yourself, port 80 and port 1194, that's needed. You can find those information from GitHub project 80 and 1194. So basically, you may want to change your security groups. So I already have this common port open security group which includes all those ports. If you don't have one, you may want to click your common port open to add it in. One one nine four and port eighty. You also can add 
the port into your subnet default security list. So either one should work. So you can add those. Since I already add into the security group, I can skip this part. So we have public IP, so we are going to log in using our private key. So we just logged in the first command, always IPD update. If you want to know more how we can get the environment ready, you can go to my blog post to see what are prerequisite prerequirement you will need it, such as if you want to increase your website, you also want to enable password login, enable BBR, but those are optional. For us, to get uh, this Docker, open VPN Docker running, we just need to install Docker first, and then we're going to issue this command. Then we are good to go. So now let's start with Docker. So we did APT update. Now we're going to Install Docker. One command. It will take probably one or two minutes. I will skip some of the videos and directly go to next section. Next command will be either this one or a little bit of modification dash D here. So we just using this one. I add a dash D to make it uh, easier. Paste command in. Done. That's how fast it is. We installed the Docker. Also, we brought up our OpenVPN Docker. Now we're gonna download client profile and download OpenVPN client for Windows to access to it. So we just need to open this HTTP port. So we're gonna copy this public IP address. I'm gonna put it into my Windows sandbox for testing. So we download the client.ovpn file. The next step is to download this OpenVPN Connect software. It's about 84 megabytes. Usually take it probably 10 seconds, depending on your speed. You may want to open a file to install it. Finish. Now open VPN window, opened, agree. So now you're going to import profile either through online URL or through upload file. Before we go to OpenVPN connection, we just want to check what is our IP right now. This is our current IP before the VPN. Now let's import downloaded file. So it's already including the host name server or IP address. So it's do connect. Right away it's connected. 
So right now, if we go to what is my IP again, you see the IP address change it to our VPN service IP address. And you can see the ISP's Oracle. My IP location is still in the Toronto. So that is how easily you can set up your open VPN access server. In this way, you can bypass lots of restriction on your current IP at home or at work. You can access those restricted content bypassing your local region's restriction. I hope this video gave you some ideas how to set up your own OpenVPN server. If you need to change settings, you can go to GitHub, this project, which I'm going to post the URL in this video description to let you get more advanced features or commands to run which is such as you can get the version, you can get your client, or you can remove the client if you want to revoke the client certificate. So that's pretty much all for my this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, give me a thumb up. Also, if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please do. That will help me a lot. Thank you for your watching. See you in my next one.